Hello, this is Stevie for the L.A. Story. You know, it's summertime, and what is summertime for most of us? It means it's DIY time. And what, no matter what your project is, whether it's refinishing furniture or doing stuff in your garden, which we've been talking a lot about home decor and outdoor stuff and doing things like that, there's a certain thing that you need to think about, which is safety. And the person who's actually taught me a lot about DIY safety has been Lou Manfredini, and we have him on the phone again to tell us what we need to be reminded of when we're doing our DIY stuff. So how are you today, Lou? Terrific, Stevie. Thanks for having me. I'm very glad to have you. I always learn something when I talk to you, <laughs> which is called be safe. <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. No, I, I mean, you bring up a, a, a great point is the fact that um, you know, you're talking to people and they're doing all these projects and, you know, what are they doing to keep themselves safe? I think that there's a, lo a lack of knowledge and perhaps a little apathy when it comes to this. Um, you know, I've partnered up for the past few years with the 3M Tech Protection brand and they make all these different products uh, for the professionals and the do-it-yourselfers, whether it's uh, eyewear or masks or ear protection. They just did a survey with the National Safety Council and found some pretty startling uh, information. Uh, the people that responded to the survey, 36% of them said that, uh, oh yeah, I've been injured when I do stuff in and around my home. You know, and that that's not so surprising to me, but um, what scary? was... It's scary, but what was surprising to me is 77% of them said that, well, you know, I saw that there was a recommended protective gear I was supposed to wear with this tool and whatever. I decided not to wear it. And that, to me, is just a recipe for disaster because people are getting hurt doing this stuff. Well, and the thing is, the last thing you really want to be doing is telling your spouse or calling a neighbor and saying, uh, I just had an accident, I need to go to the oh, hospital. I know, God forbid, that's terrible. Um, I, I'm, I'm on a mission to kind of help to uh, mentor do-it-yourselfers to understand that there are little things you can do that really make a difference. My number one thing is to wear eye protection. This is something I want to be uh, second nature, like wearing a seatbelt on a car. Uh, 3M Tech has a, a wide variety of, of eyewear that's available, safety eyewear. They have one called Force Flex that I really like. You can squeeze it, you can twist it, you can step on it, you can drop it, you pick it up and you put it on your head and it still fits and it's comfortable. The thing is, is that most people think about safety glasses and they're like, oh, I'm going to look ridiculous. I don't want to wear that stuff. Well, now they're stylish. I have uh, several pairs that I use as my regular sunglasses. There is no way that you would know these aren't sunglasses. And they're really? actually, yeah, no way in the world. And they're safety glasses, and so they're rated to protect you, and they really do make a difference. The, the second thing is the hearing protection, because, you know, you're using this equipment, whether it's a, a, a string trimmer or it's a, a lawnmower, makes a lot of noise, uh, foam disposable ear plugs that you can roll in your fingers and place inside your ear can reduce the decibels by up to 32. So it's much more comfortable to, to wear, and, and, and they're disposable. You're done. It's, a, it's no big deal. And then if you want to step up, you can go to earmuffs that are uh, similar to what you see, uh, you know, ramp workers on, a, on the tarmac at the airport wearing. But they have one called Work Tunes that has a built-in AM, FM radio, and you can even plug in your MP3 player. So you're styling while you're wow. working uh, in and around your home. You mean you can actually be listening to your favorite tunes out from like iTunes and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely, you're... right. Yeah, you what plug... a great yeah. idea. Yeah, That's pl... genius. Yeah, you plug in your MP3 player to it, and uh, you know if you're using a riding lawnmower or you know working outside, whatever it may be, and you need to control that sound that's in there, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You should be talking to people before Father's Day because these make great gifts. Well, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I actually did. I did talk about the work tunes thing for Father's Day. It is a, it is a great idea. But, you know, I think that the, the, the bottom line, Stevie, is the fact that um, when we're doing these projects and so many people are doing more and more, they need to stop for a second and realize, wait a minute. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to hurt anybody around me. And and I want to be around to be able to do other projects. And so right. these little steps. This is. We're not talking about investing a ton of money here. Safety glasses cost anywhere from ten bucks to fifty bucks. So this is not a huge investment. And they last. So it isn't like you're buying them every you know every month. No. Uh, so it's exactly. really it's re it's really important. Well, it's like, especially the ones where you're looking at that you that masquerade as sunglasses, too. That's something that they can wear every day, and it's not, nobody's going to know. No one's going to so, know. 
it, no it makes so it. much sense. And yeah. because I'm actually starting to think about getting into that DIY stuff, you know, the vertical gardening and all that other oh, stuff. Yeah. But it still requires me to use things like drills and, and whatever I'm supposed to use to do this because I haven't researched enough. I mean, I, I've watched enough videos sitting there thinking, okay, but the actual breaking down of what I need to do and what I need to actually have to protect myself so that I don't, you know, there are times when I've done stupid things. Um, and I've, by listening to you, I've actually learned what's really safe. And I've even told my husband that, you know, you need to be using this too. Right, right. Well, and, and that's the thing too. I think that we, we, need to, we need to help protect the people around us as well as ourselves. And this is not uh, something that ever stops. You know, I have a joke that safety never takes a vacation. And that's true. So you're working around your house, eye protection, ear protection. You're working with chemicals. Uh, maybe you're doing some painting. How about a respirator? This is something that, you know, you don't want to in, uh, inhale any of this, uh, uh, th th those fumes into your lungs. And so the 3M Tech brand of respirators have this thing called a cool flow valve on the front of it. So when you exhale, all the air goes out of the mask and it doesn't fog up your glasses. Very comfortable. Wow. High, high quality stuff. This is, as I mentioned, the professionals use this stuff. And you as the, the homeowner, the everyday DIYer can use it as well and have the confidence to know that this is high quality stuff that was designed with your safety and your comfort in mind. God, I love that. Because to me, that makes so much more sense. I mean, it's a whole lot easier and cheaper than putting a HEPA filter in the room with you, you know? Oh, and, and much more effective, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. it's like I've, I've worked with HEPA filters and, and stuff like that. It's, yeah. Crazy, right. um, and and they're big, and little kids just it drives you can't talk around them. But with <laughs> it, you're making so much sense here. So where can people go get more information? So all of these products I talked about are available at hardware stores and home centers and online, and you can find them just about anywhere. But we have more tips, more information uh, that we put up at 3mtech.com, and that's the number three m t e k k dot com. Perfect. And if they wanted to ask you a question, do they go there? Or do you have another place where we can find you? They can go there, and from there, they're going to link to me. Awesome. People, if you are planning any projects, you should be listening to what Lou is saying because you need to make sure that you're safe. Um, trust me, there's stuff I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be going to invest in probably those sunglasses that uh, actually are safety glasses, too. <laughs> We'd like to thank Lou. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate all the, the tips and, and great products that you recommend. They're, they're so smart. And people, you can save yourself a lot of problems by doing what he says. And this is Stevie for the LA Story saying, see you soon, people. Bye.